Hey y'all, I'm James Wright. Welcome to my shop. And uh, I just did my monthly shop update on the main channel, so I thought I would show you some of the behind the scenes things that are going on. Kind of do the regular shop update here. So um, let's take a look at a few things. So I've been working on the bench, and you can see I have the dogs in now. I went and got these ones from uh, Rockler. Um, I like the aluminum over wood, but that's me personally. I have shaved the top off of them in the past. Um, oh well. They work really well. But uh, then I've got my planing stop. I got this from Black Bear Forge. So this will hopefully be next week's, next or Saturday's video, I think. But then you can just adjust it up and down with taps and uh, put it at the right height and I can adjust it quite a bit. So yeah, having kind of fun with that. Uh, what else do we have going on here? Uh, I got this from Worth the Effort. If you haven't seen his channel, he does a lot of fun things like that, but he just made these aluminum plates uh, for faster sharpening. So I can put this on the on the bench, and so I have 1,000 grit and 4,000 grit on here, and then um, stropping on the back so I can play with using the rough side or the smooth side. So when I'm carving, uh, this is on the bench with me. I really like it. Um, I'm going to be playing with that a bit more, but I might do a video with that in it. Um, the big thing going on right now is all of the boiled linseed oil tests I'm doing. So I've got the linseed oil made from a friend in a vacuum boiler. Then I've got stuff that I boiled um, in my backyard. And then I have one day bleached and uh, a three day bleached. And so you can see how it gets lighter and lighter as you bleach it longer. And so I was playing with those and just making it out of raw flaxseed or linseed oil. So I put it onto this plate and I've been playing with drying times because that's one of the problems with the raw linseed oil. So I have the store-bought um, boiled linseed oil, the V-boiled stuff I get from my friend, uh, the home-boiled stuff, bleached and three-day bleached and so I can I can test drying times and honestly um, the drying times are all very similar. Um, this will dry almost completely even with a thick film and like 24 hours. The V-boiled takes a little bit longer, maybe a couple hours. Home-boiled is about the same. Uh, bleached oil might take two days, but it's dried pretty good after that. So I've been having fun with that. The video will be coming out on all those and making those too. So yeah, um, other than that, I've got a few other things. I'm running wires. So I've got my, my drill down here for running through joists because I'm getting ready to turn this space here into my office. So I've got my data cable coming down, um, CAT6, to connect to my computer that's running up to the router. And so I'm going to be moving this shelving out of here, putting it around the corner for household things and tools that I don't use, um, battery charging and all that's going up to the garage. And so this area will all be cleaned out and I'll be building a wall uh, right here, right up next to all of these switches and outlets. So this should be... Um, kind of a, a cool space. Eventually I want to build some sort of like a backdrop here because <coughs> oh, excuse me, my computer's going to be over here. So the camera will be facing this way and I want a backdrop behind me for when I'm sitting at the camera doing live events. Wow. <laughs> but uh, yeah, my uh, shop is a bit of a mess right now. So I'm in the middle of moving everything around. Hopefully this bookcase will disappear once I make all the tool racks. And um, I put up this temporary uh, rack from Brockler, and I kind of like it uh, to hold my uh, rasps and files, because right now they were just banging into each other, so I just have that up there temporarily. I'm probably going to do something different in the future, but for right now that'll work fine. So i got to get a chisel rack up here, and a, uh, a plane till, and a saw till, and a few other things, and then the, the shelf going to the top for all the molding planes. So this is going to be a lot of fun. So, yeah, uh, a lot of things coming out of the shop. And I uh, just want to say a huge thank you to everyone. Um, I know I say this a lot in the videos. You guys really are the reason why I can um, keep putting out content like this. And I uh, really thank you. Um, I <laughs> That's about all I can say. So thank you. It means a ton to me. So I hope you liked it. And that's about it for today. So until next time, have a wonderful day.